So this fabric is called achishidiechi. Achishidiechi simply means the back of a tortoise. And it is called so because it looks like the back of a tortoise. And also these fabrics are also named in addition to uh, moral values and proverbs in Ghana. So there's a proverb that says, Akolabomwa ombo achishidiechi, which simply means that the child breaks the shell of a snail but not the shell of a tortoise. So all it's just trying to teach you as a child is when you are a child, do things like a child. And when you grow up, you do things as an adult. We also have this fabric. And this fabric is called Dreyakudre Frama Ebu. And what it simply means is when one tree takes all the wind from the storm, it breaks. And when you look at it, you see that there's a couple of trees and one is, has fallen down here all right. right and all that is trying to tell us in the society is that when one person in the family takes all the burdens of other people in that family <laughs> the <laughs> person eventually breaks exactly. yes so she's also saying that just as what i said if you stand together in a family when the storm comes, you wouldn't break, yeah. yeah. But if one person stands on his own and then takes all the bed, beddings, uh, it would definitely uh, okay. break Okay, down. so these actually got a meaning, they're just not, uh, yes. just oh. different designs. Yes. Okay, and then okay. There's this one, which looks like a stairs, right? You see it? You see the stairs? Mm -hmm. And then this is called Owo Atridia. What Owo Atridia means is death ladder. So all this is trying to tell us that we all die in one way or the other and we all climb death ladder. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is Taban. It's a bed flying. It means that money has wings. That is to mean that when you get money, you keep it safe, uh, safe. You use it wisely, you invest it. Because if you do not invest it well, it will leave the grips of your hand at the end of the day. So all these fabrics are not just vain, but they teach us something also in life. And they have moral lessons and proverbs behind them. Um, this is called Nkrumah Tenso. And what is Nkrumah is the first president of Ghana. Mm -hmm. And then, you know the ink that they used to write? Write with the uh, feather. feather. Yeah, so that's some, it looks like this. So uh -huh. they just call it Nkrumah's uh, pencil. Yeah, so you see it? Yeah. This is just called ABC of Love because it has, um, you can find some okay. alphabets. Alright. Alphabets. And, and then see. This is Subura, right? And then it's a round, so this whole thing is a round thing with these little things in it. And what Subura means, a standing water in the middle of the forest or a well. So I'll explain it from both sides. So a well means when you drop something into the well, it makes ripples. And that's the ripples you see around. And then the standing water in the middle of the forest is that this is the standing water. And these dots you see are fallen leaves. These are fallen into the standing water. And all it's, it also teaches us that water is life. And when someone gives you water, they are actually giving you life. Um, this one is called Arene Pankasa. Good bees do not boast or speak for themselves. So it means as a person, if you are of good character and stuff, you shouldn't boast. Let your character and the things, your deeds actually speak for you. Mm -hmm. So good bees do not actually boast or right. blow their own hands. Yeah. So there are different colors also. And some of them are new fabrics that do not have names. So these are a few that I'll show you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 
So this is the oops, this is the subura, the standing water, and then this is the ripples. Yeah. Yeah. And then nowadays we they they uh, make it mix together. So this is boa tree that is dead slab, good bees do not rattle. Then it's a mixture. Oh wow! Okay. A mixture. One okay. perfect but different. Chinese, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Heritage, okay. This is the printed and painted also the wax for this This is not the original painting. Have you seen the, the original, original one? No. Yeah. We have the original one. Mm -hmm. so this is the wax print one. And then I'll show you the woven one. Okay. So that you see. So you can touch this. Yeah. yeah. Then when I show you the woven one, so you can have a look. Difference, yeah. So mostly, um, how, 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 how much? So um, yeah. So, so it goes per yard, and also you can buy the full thing. So how per much? yard is twelve CDs. Twelve CDs, 12 CDs yes. for a yard. Yes. And how much is uh, a full wrap? Okay. For a dress, some people buy three years. It has six years. Yeah. You want the full six years? For six. what? You tell me, what are you going to do? I'm getting uh, Yeah, I'm trying to get some stuff made for my wife and daughter. Okay. So, uh, probably like a little jumpsuit or something. Okay, but what's your yeah, size? Six years, uh, she's like a, I don't know, 14? I don't know what size that is. Yeah, then maybe you have to buy six yards. And six they yards, they yeah. might spend. Cut How it old down. is your daughter? Also? She's uh, 19. Oh, okay. Two yards. Two, two, two yards. yards. Okay. But what's, do you know her 